Hello, my name is Miles Matias. I'm currently driving and I'm just going to tell you how I pass the ITF, CompTIA ITF Plus in roughly about two weeks. I, I didn't study every day because some days I couldn't, but most of the time I did um, for about five to eight hours. Um, I took the test. I did the proctor test at home. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. But just to get right into it, I, um, I used two resources for the courses. Um, I actually bought on Udemy a five-hour course, I think, from Total or one of those course-making companies, and it was honestly terrible. I think ITF Plus content in general is very, very bad on Udemy. Um, this is very low quality. I would never use Udemy again, specifically for the ITF Plus. Um, I really like the free content on YouTube. There's this channel called IT Pro TV. They have an 18-hour course for the ITF Plus. It was very, very well done and, and kind of, I think it maybe overdoes it, but I remember when I, when I took the test, I was thinking about some of the lessons from IT Pro TV. I'm like, wow, the level of depth they went into really helped me out. Um, another course I did was a course by a man named John Tabor, and I'll put all the links below and kind of write out a little thing of you know, how I took the test and everything. Um, and I, I wrote a little article you can read as well, just to kind of you know, have a have it in reading form at as well. Um, but yeah, I did that, and then I used a site called like Test Prep Training. Um, they had like maybe twenty ITF Plus tests, and they were honestly really good. Um, I used free websites. You know, I, I used the ITF Plus from Udemy. Uh, the only problem with the Udemy one is it had like a lot of like miswords, miswording. So like I would get the question because I understand the context, but sometimes like a word will be misspelled or I'm like, mm, probably another word should be here, but it did give good explanations for the ones you got wrong. So I think it was important and, you know, I'll list it in the description as well. But the, you know, ITF Plus is very easy to get. I know some people say they study for months for these, but uh, my formula was one week of really hardcore I'm going through courses and videos and just passive learning. I'm not sitting there taking notes. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm just ingesting that information. I'm focused on the courses and that's it. Um, where you're doing like more active learning, but still you don't, I don't think you need note taking is practice tests. So once you have a good knowledge base, cause you've watched like one or two courses, the practice test is really for me, what's going to make or break it. Cause you can watch all the courses you want. But if you've never taken a practice test, you're probably going to end up failing because, you know, you you need to know how to answer these questions in a timely manner or else you can possibly run out of time. And you just need to know what questions, how they're worded, the structure, how to answer them correctly. Because sometimes it's very confusing to answer these questions because it seems like every answer is right. And in some cases, you just got to pick the best answer. Um, so, you know, I like the ITF Plus experience. I did it because I have no IT experience and I, I really felt like I needed it. I currently have the ITF, CompTIA ITF Plus and the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Um, both are very good. I've, you know, I've been on LinkedIn, Dice.com and Indeed and I put my resume out there, made it public and I keep getting calls for help desk IT support specialist jobs ranging from anywhere from $19 to 23 to $25 an hour. Um, so there is opportunity in getting these certificates. Um, I also like a channel called Kev Tech, K-E-V-T-E-C-H. Uh, Kev Tech has a lot of like good resumes, good help desk videos, just kind of get your foot in the door in IT. Um, and then, you know, the school I'm going to, I start February 1st is WGU. I currently have my, I have about seven different associate degrees. I just kind of been going to school aimlessly. I have an AA in business, an AS, and AA in economics. Um, as far as like my testing experience, it was pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's going to be hard to do that test proctored with anyone in your house or apartment because um, any noise it will get you flagged, and they're super strict. You have to, if you use a computer or if you use a laptop, you have to 360. You have to literally 360 the whole thing, and they're going to be like remove that picture, take that out of there, take this out of there. I had almost thrown everything in my room into the hallway or into the living room because they, they wanted everything out that 
could possibly be seen as me looking at notes for cheating. Um, so very intense. Your head, see how my head's this way? Your head had to be like this in the center of the screen. And let's just say I'm leaning on my shoulder and go like this. Sir, why'd you move? You get your head in the center of the screen. I'll make sure you're not cheating. Oh, okay. Like super strict. They say you can drink water. Don't do it. Because if you go like this, maybe there's something inside your bottle and you're cheating. Um, on Reddit, I've heard a lot of horror stories of someone taking a sip, many, many people taking a sip of water, then bam, you know, they're, they're locked out the exam, it's canceled, and they got to go repay. Um, so super strict. If you live next to a testing center, I think, I think the stress would be far, far less because I almost felt like it was hard to remember things because I was worried about them canceling me on the test. So I feel like that impacts your like decision making while you take the test. But I live about 20 miles from a testing center, so I'm like, and it's in an area where there's a lot of traffic, so it it would be a stressful thing just to go take the test. Um, so I you know I did it at home. Um, they make you upload your ID, take pictures of the entire room, 360 your um, computer. I, I was using like a desktop iMac, and I had to like twist the whole thing down, show them my desk, remove the pencils, remove the like sticky note paper, remove everything out of there. Um, it, it was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of. It was my first time ever doing like a test through CompTIA like or Pearson View like this, and they do use Pearson View as their testing thing. If you do want a discount on the test go just google academic comp uh, academic store comptia and create a student account even if you're not in school create a student account because you will get uh, the average test like for comptia a plus is like 289 or something like that and it's like 109 bucks you know we're talking like 60 to 75 percent off tests with a student account if you have a relative that has a student account or a student email those are very easy to get approved for the student discount um, luckily I go to you know I go to college so I have an edu email and you can use it you can use it to my understanding you can use a personal email on the academic store CompTIA website um, to get your you know take advantage of that discount because you know 10 20 percent off is great but you know why not 60 or 75 percent off uh, so yep yeah, that's my spiel on the ITF plus very easy to do um, I'm kind of noticing on Reddit, a lot of people will do two to three weeks of course studying, just like going through courses like crazy, and then about one to two weeks of just practice tests all day long. And that's where you're like taking notes and doing stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.